What's going on, YouTube? <coughs> Happy Sunday to everybody. Just out for a drive, got to go pick up a few things. Thought I'd say hi to, hi to you guys, see what's going on. It's almost New Year's Eve. You guys got any fun plans out there for tomorrow night? I was actually invited to a uh, to a mystery murder dinner party. I apologize for the shaky camera, guys. It's not my fault. Nothing I can do about it. Hi, Shelly Wise. Shelly's in the room. Everybody say hi to Shelly. So yeah, we're invited to a murder mystery party. That's kind of taken from uh, The Great Gatsby. So everybody is assigned a character. I was assigned the character, the ladies man. Uh, what was his name? Uh, Handsome, Handsome Sam. That's who I'm gonna be playing, Handsome Sam. Handsome Sam's supposed to wear a, some sort of like a pinstripe soup, a fedora. <laughs> I gotta find a Tommy gun. I wasn't given a whole lot of time to prepare for this for this part. I was given the, uh, the information, the email came in last night. But it should be a pretty fun party. There's gonna be about 30 of us going. And man, it's just wild, man. Being out, I know you guys are going through so much right now. The reason why I make these videos is so you can really see that this is not the end of the road for you. There is life after prison, I fucking promise, man. And you get to look, to, you get to look forward to so many cool, awesome, and amazing things that come after you get this behind you. Uh, but with that said, there are a lot of people that don't put this behind them. Um, I speak to people every day that can't get their life together, continue to make poor choices, and end up back in some sort of a situation, whether it be pre uh, prison, state prison, county jail, additional probation, halfway houses. There's all kinds of consequences out there for us if we're not willing to make some better decisions. But... Every day you have the ability to restart, refresh, wake up, start over. So if you fall off, you make a bad decision, you do something you wish you hadn't done, man, just own up to it and start working towards making the right decisions the next time. The more decisions you make, the easier they get. It's just like anything else. You gotta practice at making decisions. You don't just wake up one day and go, I'm gonna make amazing, perfect decisions every day. You're gonna make a ton of bad decisions, but that's okay, because those are lessons. It's just making educated decisions. If you start weighing out your pros and cons and your risks versus reward, and you really start paying attention to consequences, you'll see your decision making starts to get a little bit better from things like getting up in the morning and making your bed, doing dishes, picking up your house, you know, putting gas in your car, not waiting for the last minute. If you're gonna go to work tomorrow, making sure you got your clothes ready. I mean, it starts with little tiny tasks that sound so easy, but so many people just don't do them. So yeah, I'm looking really forward to, uh, to 2019. I don't know about you guys. I know some of you probably are, but I'm pretty excited. And this road is really, really bumpy. We're on I-90 in Spokane, and I don't know why it's so bumpy. So you guys get like a nice shaky cam. I just got it on a mount. I need a shock, shock exorbitant mount. But I'm looking really forward. We're actually going to one of our clients' house that's throwing this party. They always do really cool things. Same same place we went for Thanksgiving. Um, they've become more than clients. They've become like an extended part of our family and really, really good friends. Whoever gave me the thumbs up, you get a aerial high five. Appreciate that. But I want to give a big thank you to all of you guys who've been hanging out with us, riding with us for the last couple of years. Um, I want to really say thanks to Jenny and CJ and Shelly and Diane and Angela, Andrew, Alex, all of you that have been a pretty big part of making this, not just the channel grow, but this community, the involvement. The, it feels like we're all just a big giant family. Um, and all of you guys that, you know, if it wasn't for you guys watching and tuning in and asking questions and sharing your feedback. What's up, Kevin? Kevin, you have. Kevin's been around since the beginning. 
Kevin gets the uh, Been Here Since the Beginning medal. I can't wait to get, uh, what is it, 10,000 10, subscribers? I get something sent to me, like a plaque or a trophy or something from YouTube. You guys know I'm going to be showing off my YouTube black. It's going to be in every photo. RDAP Dan and his YouTube black. But, you know, we're going to start making some more additional videos for you guys in addition to the content that we know you need. Um, we've been getting a lot of emails asking for videos on prison workouts, prison burpees, prison pull-ups, prison, how, how do you work out your arms in prison? So many different questions of, of things that people really want to know. And even though that's not the basis and the foundation of this channel it was the basis and the foundation of my prison experience so I probably should incorporate that to an extent and to be honest I was in amazing shape well not going into prison I, I was able to get into amazing shape while I was in prison and not quite in an amazing shape anymore you know I'm still uh, definitely definitely it's not as bad as it as it is for some others it could be a lot better um, <clears throat> but nonetheless I need to get back on the workout regimen a little more serious than what I've been doing getting this little flappy double chin going on down here it's not good for the camera it's not good for the image we received another email from a production company 2018 was interesting. We received a lot of emails from people that wanted to do something with us like documentary, follow us around, different different ideas. We just received another one who's already got something in the works and according to them, what they found on my YouTube channel would be a great fit for what they're already doing. So I'm interested to hear, I've got a meeting on Monday. Um, so actually, I actually have to go into the office Monday I don't go to the office very often anymore, guys. We've, we've set up shop at the house. We've got an awesome office set up in a spare bedroom in the house that we turned into an office. So I'm able to be fully functioning from the house, which is nice. Some people don't like working from home. They say they can't get anything done. I'm the opposite. Uh, I get just as much done at home as I would if I was at the office. However, we do have an office, so I am gonna go utilize it. Let's see some more thumbs up. If you're watching this video, give me a thumbs up. And also, if you didn't see our video the other day, we did a video on Captain Grimes, who is the captain, well, was the captain of Alderson Women's Federal Prison, who was getting sentenced on January, uh, I believe January 9th, 2019. And we're hoping he receives a good 10 year chunk of change for his disturbing methods of sexually abusing and raping women while he was in charge of that prison facility. And a lot of you have posted comments and questions, well, what, what happened to the rest of the individuals that also got in trouble? There are several other staff, lieutenants and whatnot, that were also charged with similar situations. So I will get you an update on them. We'll probably do a video right around the time that Captain Grimes is either right before he's sentenced or right after, we'll post up another video. Wednesday, unless something falls apart, we're going to be interviewing an expert in the industry on First Step Act. We've been acquiring questions over the last few days. So if you've got any questions about the First Step Act, what I would ask is don't post it in the comment right now. I mean, don't post it in the live chat. Post once this video goes up, wait a few minutes, and then you'll be able to post comments. Leave it in the comments if you have any valid questions of things that you're wondering about how the First Step Act is going to affect individuals, please post your comment and we're compiling a list of questions that we want to ask our expert to try to get these answers for you guys because there's still a lot of unsaid issues that haven't really explained how this is going to affect people and when, more importantly, when will it affect people. From my understanding, we could be months and months and months before anybody sees anything. They still need to implement programs that are going to, going to count towards the uh, good time credit for you know additional halfway house or home confinement. Uh, we don't know when everyone's going to get their good time credits for the full 54 days a year. Uh, that hasn't been said yet. It has to be ordered and directed from somebody. And I'm imagining it's going to take several months for anything like this, just like anything, even when the... 
when the two points came out for nonviolent offenders, nonviolent drug offenders to get the two point reduction in sentencing guidelines, that took almost a year before, from the time that the law went into effect, before anybody saw any benefit from that. So for those of you that are wondering, or you've got short sentences, or you're supposed to be getting out, or you got family getting out in the next 60, 90, 120 days, I wouldn't count on seeing any of those benefits affecting them as much as I wish I could tell you something different. I hate to be the Grim Reaper of federal prison stories, but sometimes got to put on my Grim Reaper hat, got to take the life out of someone's sail. It's really sad when you get the emails from people in prison. We get emails every day. People are asking about these stories and how is it going to affect them and it's like, yeah, um, none of this applies to you. What you heard is not true and you're gonna serve longer than you were hoping to serve in prison. Nobody likes to give that information to anybody, but sometimes it is the hard, cold reality of what you're facing. But it's New Year's, it's got a new year. We've, we do have prison reform bill that's finally passed. It may not be the absolute end all be all. It's not gonna make everybody's situation go away or even better in some cases. But it is better than doing absolutely nothing. And, you know, just like its name, First Step Act, it's a good step in a better direction than where we have been, which is no direction at all. And did I just find a front row parking? Ah, family first parking. What the fuck is family first parking? Come on. Families need their own parking. You got handicapped parking spots. You got mothers, expected mothers parking. And now you have family parking. It's getting a little ridiculous, guys. A little ridiculous. RDAP Dan needs to park his car. Let's see. The worst is when you see somebody park in the handicapped spot. And then they get out and they they look like they just left the gym and they're walking better than you are. And it's like, why are you parked in a handicapped spot? You're abusing your privilege. We get an RDAP. All right, this, this parking spot's not too bad. Anyway, I just got to the mall. I'm going to go in and see what I can find. I'm looking for like a pinstripe suit. A, uh, they call them like zoot suits. A fedora. I gotta get a Tommy gun. Um, but yeah, I'm looking very forward to my party. Hope you guys are doing something really fun. Hey Dan, what do you think about the First Amendment audits? Is that what I said? Uh, send me, send me. A, I'm, I'm not sure what you're referring to. Um, send me an email or a text, or maybe post a comment when this once this video goes up, and post a comment in there so other people know what you're talking about as well. And whatever it is, I'll definitely look into it for you. All right, guys, I'm going to go in here. I'm going to eat some shitty mall food probably too. Maybe a slice of pizza. Pizza sounds good. Got to go add to my double chin. All right, guys, hope you have a happy, safe New Year's. Uh, maybe we'll get on here and post a little something for you tomorrow during the party, all dressed up in character. Shelly's going, CJ's going. Hey, Mike, what's going on, Michael? Um, but yeah, join us. We'd love to, to share everything that we're doing with you guys. I'm Ardap Dan, Federal Prison Time Consulting. One day at a time, people up and people, community as method. All right, guys, have a safe one. Talk to you soon. Peace.